Hey, good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day. Does um, anyone else besides me suffer from foot in mouth disease? You know, where you say the wrong thing a lot. Uh, I mean, as a child, I got in trouble all the time for saying too much. You know, I would try to be helpful and create more problems and got in trouble for that. As an adult, uh, that's continued. Uh, I honestly can confess to you that twice in my life, I have asked a woman when she was due and she was not pregnant. You would think once would be enough and I've never asked that question again, but no, I, I did not learn apparently. Uh, that's why I love James chapter 1, verse 19. It's a verse for all of us all the time. James simply writes, Know this, my beloved brothers. So he's telling us this out of love. Let every person be quick to hear, slow to speak, slow to anger. So I learned it, be quick to listen, slow to speak, slow to anger, for the anger of man does not accomplish the righteousness which God desires, which is the next verse, by the way. So he tells us this, be quick to listen, be quick to hear. Uh, most of us don't listen at all. Most of us are just waiting for our chance to share our opinion and answer a question that wasn't even asked or defend our point of view. And James says, be quick to hear. Listen to other people. And then he says, be slow to speak. Most of us are, you know, we want to jump in, interrupt others, give our answers, answer things that weren't asked, assume things that we didn't clarify. And, and so, you know, that was my problem. I was always quick to speak and slow to listen. And then he says, be slow to speak to anger slow to anger so if you really want to test your love for people ask this how quickly do you get angry how quickly do you lose your temper because last time I read the Apostle Paul in 1 Corinthians 13 love is patient and love is kind neither of those describe somebody who won't listen and who speaks in anger so uh, verse 20, which follows this, says the anger of man does not accomplish the righteousness of God. We've got to remember that getting angry, losing our cool, uh, is not going to help the situation ever. And it's not going to put us in a place where we ever represent Jesus. So what is James telling us? Well, in a sense, he's telling us to shut up and listen. Just stop talking. Listen to people. Um, Stephen Covey, uh, who wrote Seven Habits of Highly Effective People, stole this from James when he said, seek first to understand others and then to be understood. Most of us want people to understand us more than we want to understand them. Here at Calvary, we kind of co-opt that idea of James and say this, relationship precedes rebuke. Look, people, the gospel is a rebuke to how people live. It's a rebuke to what we value and prioritize. And so what we want to do is get to know people first and out of that relationship that we have with them, then we want to tell them the truth about how God can change their life, forgive their sins, and save them from hell. But to do that, first we want to have that relationship in our lives uh, with them. And the only way we're going to get to have that relationship is by listening to their story, by asking them questions about what they think and what they believe and how they want to live. And, and then out of that, hopefully, prayerfully, we'll have an opportunity to share a little bit about our story and how Jesus has changed our lives. Uh, but this isn't only a good verse for evangelism. This is a good verse for your marriage. It's a good verse for your children. It's a good verse for your friendship. So let's hear it again. Let's be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to anger, for the anger of man does not accomplish the righteousness which God desires. I really hope and pray that that helps you. And if you don't want to listen to me, listen to what my mom always said. She would look at me and say, God gave you two ears and one mouth for a reason. <laughs> I hope that blesses you, Calvary, and hope you have a great day.